Please remember that this video is intended for mature audiences and if you are under the age of 18, you need to watch this with a parent or guardian in the room with you. Enjoy! Hey everyone, welcome to a really special episode of Timothy's Toy Therapy. My name is Timothy and today we are celebrating a very special occasion and that is my two-year journey in doll collecting, Tiffany's birthday. When I got Tiffany, it was a very planned thing. It wasn't just one day I woke up and said, I'm going to start collecting Barbies. And for it to happen on the 23rd of December 2019, which was a particularly difficult year for me, I, I found a little bit of creativity and I went with it. And I was very thoughtful when I went out and purchased her. And I'm just gonna tell the story. In 2012, I bought my first Barbie. And she was obviously a Gigi, because she was 2012. I don't know who she was. I was on a tight budget, so she would have not been that expensive. And I basically um, played with her for that night, wanted to make her hair black, got a marker because I didn't know anything about dyeing doll hair and like a permanent marker and did it and then I was like oh crap I've ruined it so then I wanted to give her a bob head <laughs> I cut it off like all these little things that kids do um I did it in one night and then she was kind of discarded and she was discarded because of my self-shame in having her even I remember saying, oh, I've bought her for my niece, things like that. Got rid of her and then a few years later, I saw doll customizers on YouTube and I was like, oh, let's try this. So I bought another one and I stripped her face off. I took her hair out <laughs> and she went nowhere from there. And she just sat on my desk for ages, like under all the crap and eventually got thrown out. And she was probably a millie, to be honest because that was 2016. So come to 2019, it was a really tough year. And my best friend, she's like, I bought Ruby the material for her to make a Barbie wedding dress. I bought it for Dollars Barbie with a white lacy top and I'm going to redo the skirt. Can you make it? I'm going to give it a try for fun. I might surprise myself. Where can I get a normal Barbie? They're all crap now. You'd have to buy one online from the 80s or 90s. May. I don't want to play with it, I just want to make clothing for it. Closest thing in the shops at the collector range. So the next day I went into the city and I started looking for a Barbie. Uh, I think I went to Target, uh, maybe Kmart, and then Big W. And at Big W I found Fashionista 113, who is Tiffany. And I really liked her face, I liked her skin tone, and I liked her hair colour. And that is how I ended up with Tiffany. She is bloody gorgeous. Uh, she didn't have articulation, she had a fucking hideous dress on. But I don't think I liked any of the other Barbies that were there. I was probably trying to go back to that nostalgia of Barbie and I brought her home and I went into my massage room because I'm a massage therapist um, and I put her in there. 2019 I was having panic attacks. A lot of stuff was going on. When I had this little project and I whipped up a little black outfit for her quickly <laughs> to be like look friend this is what I can do with just this scrap fabric I've got. This was my original Tiffany. I've actually got a few others and she's Fashionista 113. Her hair was actually long like this. So as you can see, I've cut off a bit. The ends aren't great on Tiffany's hair. And I was like, oh, she'll probably look okay with short hair. I actually loved 
her long hair when I looked at it in the box. That was one of the contributing factors of getting Tiffany is because she had um, this classic kind of Barbie colored hair. I think the next one I got was this Millie Barbie toddler training ice skating Barbie. She came with a little um, girl with black hair in pigtails. I did that and then I started going to the thrift stores and I picked up the embarrassing newbie moment. I got a Steffi Love doll and I thought it was an old Barbie and my friend was like, oh my god, she looks like an original Barbie. I was like, oh my god, she does, doesn't she? And it was like, no. I got a whole bunch of GGs and I was like, I'm going to restore them. I'm going to make them look amazing. I'm going to resell them. I didn't do any of that. So I went to a bunch of thrift stores in the posh part of town and I went into this antique store, novelty store, novelty antique store. And I was like, do you have any Barbies? And they're like, yeah. And they tried to, they tried to sell me all these ones in the glass case because the glass case are more expensive. But the ones that were sitting on this shelf weren't. They were still, you know, more than a thrift store, but I found this one that was like, oh my God. And it was her, it was Raquel. I didn't know Raquel. I knew Raquel from Life in the Dream House because I did uh, flirt a little bit with Life in the Dream House and uh, The Sims 4. I did flirt with Barbie um, in that way. So I knew Raquel was in it. I didn't know she was Raquel. And then when I made friends and stuff, I found out she was Raquel. I'm like, oh my God, she's my favorite character from that uh, Barbie TV show where they're all dolls. And then I found out that Tiffany has the same face sculpt as Raquel. She uses the Raquel fa face sculpt and she became my favorite face sculpt. I love Raquel anyway. She's such a beautiful doll. I love her highlights. She's got pink highlights. And I have um, three, three original Raquel dolls. I actually have the original, original Barbie Diaries Raquel doll. Um, I'm not getting her down. She's not. She's not a Raquel mold, she uses Lara, but she's pretty cool. And I thought she looked like Taylor Swift. I was like, oh, who's that Taylor Swift doll? I've collected a few of them, but my point is once I started getting into the motions of all of this, my anxiety and panic attacks literally started to drop off. My anxiety was always still there. Depression was definitely still there, but the panic attacks, like I could, the, the, I can't breathe. I'm having a massive sense of dread. Oh my God, hide under my covers, put my pillow over my face so that I block everything out, not suffocate myself. Um, that kind of panic attack stopped. And I was really thankful for that. And I've just kept collecting. Tiffany means the world to me. And although I don't really use these ones, as much in my videos now and my Instagram, they are still very relevant. I've got a few of Fashionista 113 now that Barbie's GBF and Joshi have helped me um, locate and gifted to me. My hope is to be able to give them different looks. And sometimes I like to have the same Tiffany just in a different outfit and I got that little trip tip off of Stovall to you know have Tiffany in different outfits so I don't have to change her all the time uh, and lose her outfits her favorite outfits so that was a really awesome little thing that I learned as well here is my current Tiffany and she is ready to get into this doll review. I'm sorry for splattering on for half an hour about my doll journey. It's been amazing and I've made so many amazing friends and I'm just gonna do a little shout out to Ethan, Barbie's GBF, because we became friends a year ago as well. 
uh, like literally a year ago, I binge watched his videos and he was quite new to the channel, uh, to YouTube and he just seemed amazing and really down to earth and kind and I went and found him on Instagram. Just an amazing friendship has blossomed out of that. My dolls that I bought this year were influenced by his first few videos. I think I watched him to get the review on the wheelchair Ken. Cheers Tiffany, happy birthday, and let's get into the review. Okay, so firstly I wanted to introduce you all to Tiffany's new boyfriend, Elliot. I was gifted Elliot by Joshi, and I will link his Instagram below. He is great fun. He lives in Newcastle in New South Wales, Australia and he is a nurse and works pretty hard especially right now so he is i believe number 184 in the fashionista line he comes with a kind of hawaiian shirt and uh orange orange pants and white shoes this is obviously not his body the body I have used is the Barbie Looks Blonde Ken. He is named Sean and he's amazing and Tiffany loves him. So today we are reviewing the Holiday Barbie Dolls. This doll here is gorgeous. She is the uh, medium toned or brunette Barbie in the series. You've got two others. You've got the blonde uh, Caucasian and the black hair, black uh, Barbie with the braids. So this one is Kira. The blonde one is gonna use Millie. And then you've got, which is amazing, I love this sculpt, June. She's got these amazing braids, beautiful, beautiful little edges, beautiful makeup. She doesn't come on a made to move body. This is the lavender top yoga Barbie body and she's got like a high ponytail and stuff. So yeah, but she comes on a model muse body like uh, Kira here. Different hairstyles for all three, designed by Carlisle Nuara, and the box is also done by someone, I can't remember who he told me. So I'll write their name on the video here. The box is amazing. She's been sitting in this box for so long. I love it. I haven't been angry about keeping her in the box. Beautiful, beautiful box design. You've got a profile of her here, and then it talks about the holiday Barbies. And then down the bottom, you've got the two other variations of her. The box looks pretty easy to open. And then watch me, beep. oh, yep, see, beautifully done like that and then not on the other side but that's okay i'm assuming you can do it from up top without really damaging and it's look there's so there's um a sticky tape at the top and i bought this doll at maya there's plenty of her she is throughout maya like crazy i've got a friend in melbourne that has been looking for a perfect version of her um, like the promo pics but you're never gonna get that oh look she just slides right out what a beautiful box design she just oh my god i'm getting caught everywhere she just <laughs> slips right out oh my god girl come on all right there she slips right out <laughs> and she's there on her little uh backdrop the box is like this you can do whatever you want with this plastic fuck you elvira i can do the nails too i don't need you the dress is really nice quality fabric Anyone that says this is not nice quality is really missing out because it is superb. I love it. It's like, it's got 
the metallic woven into the mat and it gives it an icy frosty look to it see and this dress look she's got this bracelet as well i'm going to take that off so the model muse body is obviously manicured like you would expect and then that just hopefully slips out without me smashing this beautiful crystal glass that i've got sitting here next to me uh, with my gin in it <sighs> she has a stand and then she's buttoned up like this I'll be right back, I'll get her out of that, and then we can review the doll. Okay, here she is, and wow, her hair, for one, is beautiful. It's so soft, and I'm gonna have to fix this little bit here, um, but that shouldn't be too hard. She's got a little bit of box hair at the back. What do you expect from a doll that's been stuck in a box? Um, one thing I would like Mattel to do is fix Kira's hairline. What is this? Come on. Why are we getting that terrible, terrible hairline? Like, why? It ruins the Kira face. I'm going to have to work out this little do at the front, to be honest. But I do love her. I really do. And I love the attention to detail that Carlisle has put into this beautiful doll. But I just need that hairline fixed. Okay. So she's got little loose curls at the end, which I love. And then she's got this beautiful, bloody, stop focusing on Tiffany, little breastplate of armor. And Carlisle did a little uh, walk through with her as well. And you just take it off like that. Bam, you got this hot ass dress underneath it, bloody Cinderella. Look at this, look, no one talks about this. I need to talk about it though. This little poof is very poofy and it is literally just one piece. The seams are inside the dress. So you don't get seams here. You don't get like a nasty mesh ending. Like last year's actually had a nasty, like, oh my God, it was so ugly. Um, the dress wasn't ugly. The execution was beautiful makeup. Very, very beautiful. I love the slight open mouth, lip, the smoky eye that she's got with a little silver, the little silver crease at the bottom of her lids are amazing. Her shoes are freaking Cinderella's glass slippers. This dress screams screams Cinderella absolutely like original Disney Cinderella and and what I really think we need for this doll is a petticoat because watch this flat flatty flat fat poofy galore look how beautiful that poofiness is it's poofed officially poofed so I don't really know what doll uh, made to move I can use for her. You can kind of see that this body doesn't even match her skin that well. But I was thinking this one, which was the Yara that came out last year and we haven't seen anything since. I think this one will make a really good match. I think I just lost a shoe, I did. So we're going to just Make them into each. Oh, damn. Look at her in that outfit. She is rocking that, really. What's with this? I don't know. If I, I don't think I like these little bits coming in her eyes. I would prefer it to be sitting to the side. But she's good. I like her. And can I just say that even if... Her face isn't absolutely perfect. It gives her character. I think her eyes are pretty good. I don't care that this one kind of looks a little more lazy than this one. Definitely humans are not symmetrical. We never were and we never will be. And this just gives her a character. 
to her and, and I'm kind of liking this little look on her but I'll put her back into her holiday dress for now. And there she is back in her dress. She's a lot shorter than she was. But that's cool. I don't mind. I like having my dolls a little different. Yeah. So that's her standing up against Tiffany. She's on a petite body. Her face is a little bit lighter than her body but that's really okay actually. Is that a match? Not, not the shoulder, but the arm. The arm looks like it. Interesting. Maybe, maybe Tiffany might work. We're not, we're not giving her Tiffany's body. It's never happening. Um, all right. So yeah, there we go. She is now a made to move doll. I will give Magenta a little holiday. She can have a model muse body for a little bit. And we're going to be enjoying some Kira. Help me think of a name for her. I'd love to know what you think I should name her. Thank you everyone for watching this video. The change that collecting dolls has had in my life is massive. And it's given me a really enjoyable hobby to have. Uh, sure, it may break the bank sometimes, but um, I try to be as good as I can. So... I hope you all have a really good holiday and new year. I don't know when my next video will be out. I have slowed down a little bit. I go through ups and downs. I've been sick actually this week. It's really hurting my voice to speak right now. I've had a lot of coughing fits throughout this video, but I needed to get it done because Tiffany is important to me. What has happened in my life through having this doll has made a massive important step for me in my healing and I wanted to share that so anyway thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon bye Silver